All right, welcome back. Here we have our Earthshaker auxiliary power driver board. I've removed the bridge rectifiers that were messed up, and you can see the traces have, they've just burned all the traces off. So what I did was I've got my schematics right over here. You can see. And uh, I've been, uh, I've cross-referenced the schematic with the traces on the board to just double check what the problems are and where everything is. So I've got these traces here that I have to rebuild. Now my plan is to do them on the other side of the board. So what I did was I used my meter with the continuity tester to verify where all of the traces go and I cross-referenced it with the schematics just to make sure. So I know for example that this leg of the bridge rectifier right here Well, that, these two are on the other side of the board, so I can see them. So what I want to do is rebuild these traces. So you see this trace here comes off of this rectifier. It's burned off the board. Now, where does it go? It disappears underneath this fuse. So does it go to F5? Let me, let me set this back on. Okay, here's F5. Does it go to F5? No, it doesn't. So where is it going? Well, I had to look at the schematics for that because this trace right here ends up on this leg of F8. So if we test it, you can see. So it goes underneath the board and it comes over here. And it's hard to see, even holding it up to the light, because you have all these fuses in the way. So I had to do that with each of these. Th I've got three primarily burned traces here. Uh, this one is, this lower one is pretty obvious. It goes from the, the minus pin on the bridge rectifier over to the minus pin on this other bridge rectifier. So I'm going to jumper that on the reverse side, and uh, just you can check to check the continuity there. See, now this other one J8, this goes from pins one and two all the way over here to this leg of fuse eight. So we know uh, the voltage comes in here, goes across this fuse, and then goes over to the other bridge rectifier. So. I have to complete this circuit. See? So I'm going to do that on the, on the other side. So what I've done is I've marked where everything goes. And I don't know if you've seen, but I've taken a Sharpie. And I've, uh, I've marked where I'm going to run my traces on the reverse side. So, and I've already started to mount one jumper here. So this is going to be the jumper that follows this black marquee line. Now since these are attached to the lugs of the bridge rectifiers, I can't attach it until I put the bridge rectifier in first. So this is one end of the fuse and it's going to go to this bridge rectifier. So I've marked all the spots where the traces were on the top that I have to rebuild on the back. So I've marked them with this uh, Sharpie so that once I put the rest of the components in, I'll, then I'll jumper everything over. Some of these I can jumper already. So that's my plan. Then I'm going to cut these traces off of the board here just to get them out of the way. I don't want them shortened against anything. And uh, then I'm going to check these two electrolytic caps, see if I've got a spares. If I do, I'm going to desolder them and replace them. And then I'm going to drop in two new bridge rectifiers. and. Um, I don't know if these things had heat sinks on them. There's no hole in the bottom where you would screw through, so maybe they never had heat sinks on them. So, um, but I've got plenty of these. These are standard parts for most of the uh, Williams uh, and other pinball power supplies. So, there you have it. I'm slowly making progress. I've, I've identified the traces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, do the jumpers. And what I'm using for jumper wire is here's an old Gottlieb System 1 uh, connector cable that I pulled out of another machine. And it's got some nice gauge wire. So I'm just going to cannibalize some jumper wire from, from this. Uh, and I'm careful to try to use heavier gauge wire than the traces because this is, I think, some high voltage running across here. And, and we, I also want to make sure that when, it, when this is done, it doesn't accidentally touch against any other thing. So 
I'm going to double and triple check everything and then once I get all the components in I'm going to do continuity testing against the schematic. So there we have, slowly making progress. I'm about ready to cut this ugly junk that's burned off of the uh, circuit board out and fix it on the underside and uh, we'll take it from there. As always, uh, thanks for watching. You can catch more of this at my blog, pinballhelp.com. Thanks.